Hi, welcome to lab seven of Opti471b called the MTF lab. In this lab, I'll go over some of the theory behind measuring the MTF, the setup that we used to do that, and some of the results that we got. First off, it's important to recognize that a spot will be imaged to a blur in an optical system, whether that's because of diffraction effects or because of aberrations in the system. This is often represented as a point spread function. If we integrate across the point spread function, we can get another function called the line spread function. This characterizes the amount of power that's distributed across one axis due to imaging a point. This idea becomes really interesting and relevant when extended to the idea of resolving spatial frequencies. When imaging, these line spread functions overlap and create this kind of wavy pattern that can reduce the modulation and make it harder to resolve the image. This concept is characterized by something called a modulation transfer function, or MTF curve. The MTF curve describes how well an optical system will perform as a function of the spatial frequency that it's trying to image. In the case of a diffraction-limited system or an aberration-free system, the MTF is completely dependent upon the wavelength and the F number. This is because the line spread function is characterized by the airy disk, and optical aberrations do not extend beyond what is physically limited by the diffraction of the system. In this lab, we look to characterize the MTF by measuring the line spread function of a diffraction-limited system. We stop down the aperture to make it a diffraction-limited system, and then measure the line spread function by using a slit that's scanned across the airy disk. The setup was similar to previous labs with a Heaney laser and a beam expander and spatial filter that cleaned the beam, as well as a, another turn mirror followed by a test lens aperture stop, and then either a microscope or a slit and detector. The best focus of the system was found using Fres Fresnel zone diffraction theory. This theory postulates that the best focus is sandwiched between two dark spots caused by diffraction on either end of the best focus. We found those two dark spots using a microscope and then we're able to infer that the best focus was right in the center of those two dark spots. Then we placed a slit at that best focus and scanned across to measure the line spread function. To create a diffraction limited system, we wanted the slit width to be one over V naught, which was the cutoff frequency, in order to find and gather only the airy disk. However, the smallest slit width that we could mechanically obtain was only 155 microns. Hence, to satisfy the 1 over V naught requirement, we had to make the F number very large, around 250. This was done by stopping down the system. And that graph shows the resulting line spread function. This graph will be used for the post lab to create an MTF curve for the diffraction limited system. Thanks again for watching, I'll see you next week.